I'm Meg from Professional Music Technology and in today's video we are going to take a look at the differences between the main acoustic guitar body shapes and sizes. Now obviously acoustic guitars come in lots of different variations but in this video we are going to take a look at the four or five main different shapes you can get. So that would be a dreadnought, a orchestra or folk size, jumbo, parlour and also we'll take a look at some travel size guitars. So first up we're going to take a look at the dreadnought body shape. Now the dreadnought is commonly known as the standard acoustic guitar body shape and size but it's not the oldest one that was made. The dreadnought was first designed in 1916 by Martin and Co who needed an acoustic guitar that would be louder and more powerful than the smaller arch top style acoustics that were played at the time. Hence why it was called the dreadnought which is named after one of the largest battleships at the time HMS dreadnought. So over the years Martin produced some iconic models the D18, the D28 and the D45 for example and it wasn't long before most other acoustic guitar manufacturers had caught on. On, and now the Dreadnought is one of the most widely used acoustic guitar shapes. So as I've just touched on previously, this guitar was designed to be bigger and louder than the previous acoustics in a time where there was no amplifiers, which means Dreadnoughts are generally very punchy and powerful guitars. It is however worth mentioning that even though this is considered the standard acoustic guitar shape, it may not be comfortable for every player as it is on the larger side. So if you are a younger player or in the early stages of learning, it may be best to find a slightly smaller model. But this is the trade-off that you often get with acoustic guitars, a loud and punchy tone versus comfort and playability. Now I've just mentioned the trade-off between size, playability and tone and this next guitar is the perfect example. This is a jumbo guitar which is the largest acoustic guitar size you can get. So as you can see this is quite a bit bigger than the dreadnought we've just looked at. It has a wider and deeper body which gives this guitar an enormous sound both in terms of tone and volume. But that trade-off is being so large, this guitar can be quite difficult to get your hand around when you're playing. I myself personally, as much as I love the sound of a jumbo, do find this one quite hard to manage live. Although you are not going to get a more powerhouse sound in the studio than when playing a jumbo sized guitar. The guitar I'm holding now is the Taylor 618, but the most popular and well-known jumbo models are the Gibson and Epiphone J200s, which were made famous by the likes of Elvis, Bob Dylan and John Lennon. Now this style of guitar may not be for everyone, but I do recommend everyone tries one out so you can at least hear that powerful and enormous tone for yourself. So the next size of acoustic guitar we're going to take a look at is often referred to by different names, so folk, orchestra or auditorium are commonly used. These guitars do share similar dimensions to the dreadnought but they have a more curvy and pronounced waist which means when they are in your lap they can feel smaller and a bit more comfortable to play. This can be a bit of a grey area however with these guitars as they do vary slightly in dimension and size between different brands and guitars. And to confuse things even more, you may have heard of the concert or grand concert body size which is pretty much the same as this but it's slightly smaller again. But in general, all of the shapes I've just mentioned are designed to have a similar tone to a dreadnought but with a more sleek and comfortable feel. So if you do find the dreadnought or the jumbo size is too big for you then it's definitely worth checking out one of the guitar sizes I've just mentioned, so the folk orchestra or grand auditorium. 
So as you can see, much like the Faith in my hand, a lot of these guitars do have cutaways, which doesn't really affect the sound, but it does give you access to the upper frets. If you are looking to play lead guitar on an acoustic, then it'd definitely be worth checking out one of these. They are also commonly electroacoustic, which makes these great gigging guitars. So we've looked at some of the larger acoustic guitar sizes, now we're going to take a look at some of the smaller models. This one in my hand is a Parlor guitar. Parlor is probably one of the oldest acoustic guitar designs, very popular in the late 1800s. As you can see, this is a much narrower body than the others mentioned, giving it quite a boxy and twangy sound, which means it's very popular with fingerstyle players or folk and blues artists. Parlour guitars do tend to have a shorter scale length, so if you don't know what a scale length is, that's the distance between the bridge and the nut. On this Fender, for example, the scale length is 24.75 inches, and on a standard acoustic, it's usually around 25.5 inches. On top of that, Parlour guitars also join the neck and the body at the 12th fret rather than the 14th fret like a standard acoustic. This means that combined with the shorter scale length, these guitars offer a very compact feel and they are not exclusively reserved for bluegrass or fingerstyle players. If you are someone that just likes the feel of a smaller guitar, then these are worth checking out. The final size we're going to take a look at is the travel guitar size. So as the name implies, these guitars are a lot smaller and are ideal for taking out on the road with you. They are also often referred to as a three-quarter size guitar. So like this Yamaha FG Junior, for example, this will be about three quarters the size of a standard Dreadnought. Everything on these guitars has been scaled down. So you have a smaller body, which means there's obviously less bass and punch on these guitars. You also have a smaller scale length and a slightly slimmer and smaller neck, which means this guitar can be quite comfortable for players with smaller hands or for young children that are just starting out. So that was a quick look at the most common acoustic guitar shapes and sizes. I would definitely recommend getting down to your local PMT store and trying some out for yourself. If you want to find out any more information about any of the guitars I've talked about in this video, then head to our website at pmtonline.co.uk. The mic we've been using in this video to record the guitars is the Lewitt LCT 440 Pure. You can also find more information about that on our website. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe, head over to our socials at PMT House of Rock and give us a follow and I will catch you in the next video.